Tonight, the Columbus Pride Festival kicked off, but tomorrow morning, hundreds of thousands of people are expected to gather in downtown Columbus for the Stonewall Columbus Pride March. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. Good to see you. I'm Andrew Kinsey. Yolanda has a night off. This year's safety is top of mind. Tonight, 10 TV's Richard Solomon spent the day at the Pride Festival in Cadell Park. He's live tonight with the story. Richard. Well, Andrew, good evening to you. The Stonewall Columbus Pride Festival and Resource Fair just wrapped up here at Goodell Park about an hour ago. And yeah, the first night was successful, but so many tell me a lot has gone into this Pride weekend to make sure it's fun, fun but also the safest it's ever been. It's expression in its loudest form. We got some more performances for you guys, so sit back, relax taking over Goodell Park. I'm very overjoyed. I'm overwhelmed, but in a great way. At center stage for the Stonewall Columbus Pride Festival and Resource Fair is Desiree Williams. This is what I do it for, to see yeah. the community out. She's one of the coordinators of entertainment and also a trans entertainer. And she tells me this year's Pride means so much to her. Come on down. This is needed. Pride is needed, not just for one day or one month, but Pride overall. And for many reasons that aren't that accepting. In a safety notice, Stonewall Columbus is urging everyone to remain vigilant, saying there's unrest and concern after recent incidents involving extremists and domestic terrorist groups targeting the LGBTQ plus events and community. It scares me. It scares me because we're human. We're all human. We all have our lives to live. What you do is what you do. You know, because I choose to live the life I am, it shouldn't make you feel any less important. It shouldn't make you have any ill intents. And because of that fear, safety is visible. It's a lot of anxiety, it's a lot of trauma, trying to assimilate, trying to look over your shoulder at all times. But being in a safe space allows you to take a deep breath, if only for a moment. Ron Murray is on the board of trustees for Stonewall Columbus. He says this year, along with the city, they've beefed up security with police officers on bikes, on foot, and the CPD dialogue team. Because every stage needs its crowd. And this crowd just wants to be celebrated for who they are. This is all love. We're here for all love. And if the community can stand together and stand united and show love, then no one else can break up anything else we do. And that parade starts tomorrow on Broad and High Streets in downtown Columbus at 1030. And of course, you can stick with 10 TV. We'll have the full story for you tomorrow night. For now, reporting live at Goodell Park, I'm 10 TV's Richard Solomon. Andrew.